Hello everybody, how is it going? Welcome to my channel, I'm Leka and today we're gonna be doing a guided reading for you to improve your Portuguese. If you're not subscribed here on my channel, don't forget to subscribe. So, let's get started. Let's go! So, as always, I'm gonna be reading twice this text here and then I'm gonna be making some notes with this. <laughs> And let's get started. Ok, let's do this. O que você vai fazer no fim de semana? Ah, não sei ainda. Mas estava pensando em fazer um piquenique no parque, Ibirapuera, ou talvez viajar para uma cidade no interior de São Paulo. E você? Já tem algum plano para o fim de semana? Second reading, let's go. O que você vai fazer no fim de semana? Ah, eu não sei ainda, mas estava pensando em fazer um piquenique no Parque Ibirapuera ou talvez viajar para uma cidade no interior de São Paulo. E você? Já tem algum plano para o fim de semana? Ok, guys. So, you felt this text, right? So, let's get some notes on and you're going to understand better and learn more vocabulary. So, I'm going to help you today improve your Portuguese. Let's do this. So, o que você... Okay, I've mentioned before, when we have this accent, it's like a closed vowel sound. So, it sounds like a, a. O que means what. Like, what? You know that what is our o que. And every time you're making questions, you have the intonation at the very end, very strong. Like, o que você vai fazer no fim de semana? Semana, see? Like, the last word sounds like a question. O que você vai fazer no fim de semana? Of course, we know that o que indicates a question. O que is one of the words that indicates questions. Like, qual, quando, que, quem. Okay? But we also have to use the intonation. In Portuguese, we don't have auxiliary verbs. Like you, we use do to auxiliary to make a question. You use modal verbs, can, might, may. We don't have those. We just use our intonations and that's it. I think it's way easier than English for formulating questions. That's the only part. <laughs> so, o que? This e at the end with no accent sounds like e. O que? Você. What do you? See, we don't have the do translated. We just go with you. What do you? Vai fazer. What? Well, in this case, because it's in the future, Vai fazer, this is, what are you going, this is the going to do. Yes, um, in this case, we are mentioning the future. What will you do? What are you going to do on the weekend? You see, on the becomes no. En plus o, why? Because fin de semana, wow. <laughs> I hope you guys can understand this. Fim de semana is a masculine word. So, o fim de semana. Okay, o fim de semana. So, it becomes no. What are you going to do on the weekends? Or what are what will you do on the weekends? So, o que você vai fazer? And we don't need to pronounce this R. I mentioned in a previous video, we don't have to mention the R at the end of verbs in Portuguese. And the same thing here, okay? So, o que você vai fazer no fim de semana? Eu não sei ainda, mas estava pensando em fazer um piquenique no parque. Eu não sei. Look, I don't pronounce eu não sei. So, to make it, like, more flowy, more speedy, we pronounce as you am. Não. Eu não. Look, it's a you, and then we have an am. Eu não sei. Eu não sei. I don't know. Eu não sei means I don't know. Yet. Ainda, yet. Eu não sei, ainda, ainda. Mas, estava pensando, but, but, this is but. Estava pensando, where is I here? We don't have to repeat I again. It's implicit because I started talking about myself. So, I don't need to say again, I was thinking. Just use, but was thinking. That's the translation, but was thinking. Mas estava pensando. This has a U sound. Pensando. 
in. Why not in? Why? Because it's not at the end of the word. There is an M at the end. So you cannot pronounce E as an E sound if it's not at the end. And then here, faze, we can cut this R. We just go faze to do a picnic. So definite article in Portuguese in this case, um. Why um not uma? Because piquenique, picnic, it's a masculine word in Portuguese. So um, piquenique. All of this sounds like e. All of them. I know this is an exception to the rule. If it's in the middle, don't pronounce like e. But this, this is a unique word. Okay. Even writing it is so weird. But anyways, piquenique. That's how you pronounce picnic in Portuguese. Piquenique. 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 <laughs> No parque. Park is a masculine word. So, o. No parque. Em plus o. Same thing as here. Em plus o. No parque. And then, of course, every time you have you, o at the end, it could sound like you. No parque. Parque. Ibirapuera, that's the name of the park in Sao Paulo, and I do recommend you to go there. It's a very good park to go as a tourist, to enjoy, go for a walk, go for a jog, go meet your crush, go have a date. Like, it's a very good park. Go there, write down here in the comments if you have been there. <laughs> o talvez, O is or. Your letter O is O for us, that means or. Maybe, maybe talvez. The end here sounds like is. E and e. Eh. Okay, this is terrible. I have to do this again, guys. E and an S. Tau. This L sounds like U, okay? Tau, tau, ve, is. Tau, ve, is. Tau, ve, is. Viajar. We don't pronounce the R. So let me translate until here. I don't know yet, but was thinking, okay, I'm translating literally, okay? But was thinking in doing a picnic at the park Ibirapuera, or maybe to travel, viajar, pra, pra is the short form of para. So when you're speaking, we usually say pra. Uma cidade, a city, a city, uma Indefinite article for cidade, which is a feminine word, we say uma, uma cidade, look at the E sound, no interior de São Paulo, interior de São Paulo. Okay, why am I saying this R? Because this is a noun, this is not a verb, so if you cut out the R, it sounds really weird. Interior, if you say interior, we don't understand what you're saying, so when they are nouns, okay, so this is a noun. This is a very important information. If you say interior, we don't understand. Nouns, you don't cut the R at the ends. Never. Okay. De São Paulo. De São Paulo. So that's the pronunciation. São. Sa, um. So open your mouth. Say S. And then close your mouth and touch your lips. Mm. And do like S. Mm. So, mm. So, and just do this faster. So, 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 so. Paulo. Oh, Paulo. Né? There's the O here. We can sound like you. São Paulo. E você? And you? So, I'm going to travel to a small city close to São Paulo. E você? Já tem algum plano para o fim de semana? De... Uh, do you have already a plan for the weekend? Fim de semana, weekend. Plan for the weekend. You have already. This is already, okay? So, já. We have this accent. So, it's an open vowel sound. Já. Open your mouth. Ah, ah, já. And then, tem. Em. That's the sound. Em. Tem. Algum, very nasal here, with the N sound. Algum, plano, pra, para, o. Ah, do you notice that when I speak fast, I don't say para, I don't say o, I don't say pra, o. I say pro. So I make them together. Para plus o becomes pro. 
So when I was reading the two times before, I was saying pro fim de semana, super fast. Like, já tem algum plano pro fim de semana? Já tem algum plano pro fim de semana? Okay, so you make this connection when you're speaking. Fim de semana. And that's it, guys. So let's read twice again so you can acknowledge all this information I throw at you. And it's going to become easier from now and other times that you come here and see this content is really going to help you with your fluency, okay? So let's do this. O que você vai fazer no fim de semana? Eu não sei ainda, mas estava pensando em fazer um piquenique no Parque Ibirapuera. Ou talvez viajar para uma cidade no interior de São Paulo. E você? Já tem algum plano para o fim de semana? Guys, there's something I forgot to say. Estava becomes the short form when we are speaking. We only say tava. You don't need to say is. When you are speaking, you just say tava. So, eu não sei ainda, mas estava pensando. Ok? And the last time we're going to read this together. O que você vai fazer no fim de semana? Eu não sei ainda, mas estava pensando em fazer um piquenique no Parque Ibirapuera. Ou talvez viajar para uma cidade no interior de São Paulo. E você? Já tem algum plano para o fim de semana? Ok, guys, that's it for today. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up here if this content was interesting enough to you. And I'll see you next time. Bye, bye.